Hey guys, so the two latest Sims 4 kits have just leaked. Oh no, they're such a flop. I didn't want them to be a flop. I told you guys before, I actually really like kits and this is not it. It's not it. Obviously, I have to say these are not confirmed and I would say that the source of this information is relatively reliable, but we have to take it with a pinch of salt. It might not be the full item list. It might even be completely fake. Who knows? But we may as well get on with it. So this is apparently the first one. Is this going to be pack 52? Have we had that many packs in the game? I don't know. Anyway, this one seems like it's going to be a swimming pool related kit because we've got the swimming pool stairs. It looks like that's a lounger. So it looks like it's going to be outdoor pool related stuff, which will be in addition to the, is it called the poolside splash kit? Obviously this one's not going to be called pool, sorry, I'm such a pig. Obviously this one, it can't be called the poolside splash kit because we've already got a poolside splash kit. Is this going to be called the poolside lounge kit? I don't know. Anyway, not only do we see the items, we can see all the swatches. So firstly, it seems like we got an archway in these swatches. I can't believe this is leaked with all of the different swatches here. We've then got a brand new fire pit in the game. Like, tell me one time you've played with fire kits in The Sims 4. No, you haven't, you liar. I'm not really bothered about that. It also comes with some new curtains. It doesn't seem to come with a variety of heights. So like tall ones, medium, short ones for the different wall heights. This is something that they're very bad at doing with kits. So I hope they update it for the real thing. And then it looks like we've got a drinks tray. I'm assuming this is not going to be functional because it comes in a kit, obviously. And then it looks like we've got a decorative fountain object here that kind of looks like a tombstone. So you're going <laughs> to you're going to have a fountain that looks like a grave. Lovely. This looks like it's going to be a pool light, a light that goes like inside of your pool, which I guess is cool. I have no idea what this is. It looks like a candle light, like a, like literally. A, a candle in a, I don't know, a candle, what, what are they called? A candle cup? I don't know. And then we've got some pool ladders. And like, ugh, I just don't know if I really give a flying, you know what, about these. I just don't know. But there we go. Who needs a fully working game that's not infested with bugs and glitches when you've got 12 pool ladder swatches? And then it looks like we got a brand new chair. Oh my God, guys, a chair. Oh my God. These are all the different chair swatches here. And now it looks like we've got a sun lounger. To be fair, this looks quite nice. I wouldn't mind this in my personal house. And then we've got the table with the parasol that's supposed to be matching with the chair. So obviously it's in all the same swatches. And then we've got a side table here too. I think this is supposed to match with all the chairs too. This must be just like a patio set thing. But then we've got the desert luxe kit, which is a patio set. So I don't really understand the difference. <laughs> They're definitely running out of ideas, aren't they? We've got a potted plant. They love to put at least one of the in every brand new kit now. They're obsessed with it. So it looks like we've got another one here. And then we've got, is it a Padoga, Pagoda? I don't know. The image is small. I'm trying to like zoom in, but it looks like really blurry. It looks very strange. I think we're going to have to wait and see what that'll look like when it comes out. Then it seems we've got a decorative table for, I don't know what's going to be put in there, like poolside stuff, towels, it seems. And then this must definitely be a float for the pool. I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. And to be fair, we don't have any of those in the base game. So technically it's brand new content, technically. Now we've got two brand new pool trimming. So this is the first trim that goes for the pool. And then this is the second pool trimming here too. So a more colorful one. Then it seems we finally actually got some brand new rocks after people have been asking for ages for brand new rocks in the game. It seems like we finally got some new ones. So that's always good. It seems like we've also got some new paving stuff stones, which will be nice to put in your garden so you won't have to look through debug. And then we have some three different wallpapers here. So we got a stony one at first, and then we got the mosaic tiled one and another one. These are very clearly meant to go inside your pool to decorate the pool itself. So being honest with you guys, I can already tell I'm gonna hate this kit. Like they really are so stretched for ideas that they can't think of anything better than adding, like this is such a small amount of stuff. Like I know it's a kit, but this is tiny. It's no secret. You guys know I'm a whore for Max 20 and his stuff. So this is a free custom pack poolside lounge pack. And this comes with some really nice stuff for your poolside, including like 
like flooring and everything that you would need to make your own swimming pool. It comes with some new vegetation and decking chairs and decorations, which I think look really nice for pools. He's also got the cozy backyard pack, which comes with stuff that you can put in your garden. So like outdoor seating and stuff, which I think works really well with it. So I'm just saying, guys, I personally don't think this is it. I think it's going to be a flop. EA have clearly like, why are they running out of ideas? Like, why are they running out of ideas this badly? I don't know. I genuinely like kits. I genuinely really like, you guys know I really love kits. I prefer them to normal packs, but the last couple kits, I'm going to be brutally honest, they were a flop. And this is also giving flop, like a big floppy penis. So this next one, I'm going in blind. What have we got? Okay, we've got like an, or is it called an awning for like making a shop or something? There we go. Is this a brand new bar? Because it looks like the base game bar. Uh, is this a leak? Is this really a leak? Because this looks like the base game bar. Bar. It looks like we have got a shop window, like a cafe window, which is quite cool. Although cafes are locked behind a pack. I don't like it. It's giving my first pet stuff. We've then got an open version of like the same thing, a pet, like a patio version. This is quite nice, actually. Then we've got a brand new ceiling like here. And then we've got a like old fashioned fancy mirror here. And then like, I just, is it old fashioned? Is it fancy? Is it like Wild West? Like, I don't really get the style. I feel like this is stuff to make a cafe. Like, it, I don't know what this is. Like, a, a back bar thing. A bar back. Bear back. <laughs> not that you should be doing that ever because it's not very safe. It just seems like it's like bar stuff or cafe stuff. Is it trying to be stuff for a bar? Like, this chair looks really fancy. I don't understand if it's supposed to be stuff for a bar or stuff for a cafe. Because that looks quite modern. But some of it looks quite vintage and old and fancy. I don't really know what the f I, I'm not gonna like this I know it <laughs> I'm not gonna like the two latest kits I'm really upset because I really wanted the two latest oh, to be fair I like these curtains I really wanted to have like a nice new kit like I, I wanted to enjoy a new kit to build with and I don't think this is gonna be it this looks like a wall panel and then this looks like another I don't know what this is like a counter thing or just a shelving unit and then this one comes with a new chair that matches a bar stool we've also got a brand new coffee machine so that's always nice and then a new jellyfish lamp and then we got a brand new simlish painting poster design here it seems and then it looks like we got hanging like wine bottles that you can hang from the ceiling I quite like that for bars actually and then it looks like we got a decorative drinks tray with glasses I don't know what this is supposed to be I think it's supposed to be a sign like a shop sign a bar sign and then we've got a new shelf here and then it comes with a new tiled flooring I guess that looks quite nice and then it comes with a new wallpaper which which is like a, oops, like, which is like a panelled one, which looks quite cool. And then we've got a brand new wall light here. And then it looks like we've got a decorative wine bottle. I feel like this is trying to give a uh, bar stuff. So stuff to make your own bar. A while ago, I actually made a Sims 4 kit wish list where I said what I wanted in new kits. And I said I wanted stuff for a bar. Obviously this isn't confirmed. So I'm going to hold off too much judgment until it actually comes out. But I actually really like the idea of having brand new stuff to make make a bar in the game. I don't know if someone from the Sims team watched my video or if it was just good luck, but I think it will be nice to have stuff that I can make a new bar with. Although ironically, there does seem to be a lack of bar stuff. <laughs> the style vibe is very much giving base game Willow Creek. It doesn't really seem like there's enough to decorate an entire bar, but I'm gonna hold off from being judgmental on this one for now. Honestly, I don't like either of them, but because I like the idea of having more bar stuff because it is something that I genuinely wanted, I think I'm gonna hate this one less. It's just like they've done so many really great build kits like really good ones but then other ones are flops I just don't understand why the quality level is so volatile why is it so volatile why can't they all just be good I don't understand like there's barely anything there and there's stuff that is there like it's not enough look at me in the face right now Tammy you can decorate a bar with this no you can't you liar shut up where's like the backboard for the bar with all the bottles and things in it why does it look like a cross between Willow Creek and Horse Ranch but also with some modern elements oh I just don't understand 
stop why they're doing it. Why, why are they digging their grave? They need to stop because I actually want kits. I said kits are the only things that I like. Kits are the only things that actually work in the game without producing bugs and glitches. So I want them to be very good. But these are a little bit subpar, but there we go. Someone posted this and it looks kind of funny. Content is leaked. People trust it anyway, even though it's supposed to be taken with a grain of salt. Reveal trailer for content. Live stream takes place in Sims community hypes content. Patch gets released prior to content being released. Many mods breaking people complain that their games aren't working and will nag and harass other people to get their voices heard. Content gets released. People complain about bugs and issues, yet people buy the content anyway. People start praising the new content, even though the content is full of bugs and glitches. More people buy into the BS. People forget about the new content, start complaining about bugs featured in new content and start creating drama against each other. Developers issue apology for broken content. will promise to fix content in the future. This never happens. EA doesn't make money to recoup the development costs and layoffs of workers who develop the content. People, developers and community give up and move on to the next DLC. And then it, this is honestly so true. <laughs> This is honestly so true. It's kind of funny. Well, you guys let me know what you think. I'm under round and I know they're gonna, well, they're not gonna be flops as per that mean. They're gonna be uh, purchased anyway by everybody and they're gonna complain that they hate it yet by it anyway. That's what happens with every Sims 4 release. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss any future videos. I will see you in the next one.